Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore. A historic home made its way through downtown Boise overnight. The move is part of the St. Luke expansion project and an effort to uh, by the hospital system to preserve these old homes. The house was expected to arrive at its destination on the bench around 5 o'clock this morning. It's just the first of several homes to make the move. In the coming weeks, three more will journey to their new neighborhood. Six on your side is getting an inside look at the future of Tamarack Ski Resorts. The new owner has big plans for the offseason to start opening parts of the Village Plaza. Also, they're planning on reinstalling the old Wildwood ski lift that was repossessed years ago by Bank of America. The lift opens access to a huge chunk of the Tamarack ski terrain, but they'll have a short time to get the new lift installed this spring. Our plan is to try to get all of the superstructure flown that we have to, the towers and whatnot, get all of that stuff flown before fire season because once fire season comes up, then it's difficult to get a hold of helicopters. So we want to we wanna hit the ground running as soon as the snow is off the ground over there. Reveal says the concrete pylons are still usable and the wiring remains from the old Wildwood lift making construction of the new lift much easier. Coming up tonight on Six on Your Side, we'll take you on a tour inside the condos and show you how many of them are very close to completion. Albertsons is gearing up to open its new so-called Market Street store at one of the busiest intersections in the state. And to paraphrase that marine slogan, it's looking for a few good workers. Company officials say the new store will be huge, about 100,000 square feet, and will include a restaurant, a coffee shop, and even a bar. So they're holding a job fair today to help staff, uh, staff it all. The job fair will be held today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 3677 Fairview Avenue. That's just, just a few doors down from the new store. But if you can't make that one, other job fairs will be held next Monday and Friday. New store is scheduled to open in March. All right, well, let's jump now to Rachel Garceau with a check of today's weather. Hi, Rachel. Hey there, Matt. Well, a few moments ago, you were talking about Tamarack. I know skiers and boarders watching the forecast closely, so no new snow coming up for this weekend, but you will have beautiful conditions if you want to hit the slopes. We have bluebird skies ahead of us for Saturday and Sunday. Pretty quiet weather day across actually the entire northwest. Some showers will sneak into the or onto the far west coast, but that's about it. A few clouds drifting through for us from time to time today. We will cool off a touch from yesterday. Yesterday, what goes up must come down, right? We cannot stay in the 50s forever in January. Today will still be unusually warm, though, mid to upper 40s across the Treasure Valley, mid 30s, and many of our mountain valleys, and upper 30s to right around 40 over in Twin Falls. The difference today will be a few clouds coming and going, but also that breeze. So those cooler temperatures will be made to feel even cooler because of a southeasterly breeze at about 15 to 25 miles per hour at times for some of you. Over the weekend, as high pressure really takes over those temperatures, will cool just a touch. We could see some slight inversion conditions developing as well, but still a nice weekend. Highs in the low 40s across the Treasure Valley for Saturday and Sunday. Then we see some clouds come in early next week, but our next best chance of precipitation doesn't arrive until next Thursday. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit 6onyourside.com.